Hello dear God Farmers, welcome to Shambani Farm. In this video, I am going to be talking about important medicine that you should have at your farm at all times. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, I welcome you to do so and click the bell button so that you get all notifications when we upload new videos. Now, to start off, why am I asking you to have some medicines at your farm? Well, no matter how good your management is, no matter how good your preventive measures are, animal health problems will always occur. So it's very important to have some medication at your farm so that when an issue arises, then you have a tool that will enable you to fix the problem. But it's also important because you want to cut down costs, especially vet costs. Most of the vets who will come at your farm, if they bring their own medicine, they'll charge you an arm and a leg for that medicine. They'll be charging you medicine per injection and not per the bottle that they will come with. So you may find a bottle cost 14,000 shillings, but the injection, a single injection, which is only 1 20th of the entire bottle, may cost you half the price of the bottle so I ask you to make sure that you have your own medicine at the farm to make sure that you reduce the uh, vet cost in, in that aspect uh, please take note that this is not a vet school I'm not training you to become a vet I'm just going to propose some key medicine that you need to have at your farm, but please continue to engage the vet whenever you need to for treatment in order to make sure that your animal's health is taken care of. Now, let's kick it off. We'll start with antibiotics. These are very important because they fight a lot of infections at your farm. I'm going to start with oxytetracycline. Oxytetracycline is a group of broad spectrum antibiotics and here in tanzania we have several brands that are available we have oxifam we have limoxin as well these are broad spectrum antibiotics that will help you fight a number of infections at your farm a lot of infections at your farm but we also have some specific or much more specific antibiotics for example tylosin fights against tylosin sensitive organisms. While oxytocycline might not be useful for fighting uh, flu, cough, etc., tylosin is, is much more suited for that purpose. So it's also very important to have tylosin at your farm for respiratory uh, related infections. We also have gentamicin. The brand that's available here in Tanzania is Gentaject and a few others, but this is the common one that I also use. Now, Gentamicin is also very good. Uh, it works in a way that it actually kills the microorganism that is causing the infections. So it's very, very strong. It's, it's, it's a wonderful medication to have at your farm. A lot of time this is used in combination of, uh, with other antibiotics. So you can use this with OTC or penicillin, which I'm going to speak about um, in, in a few seconds, uh, uh, in order to make sure that you completely arrest that, that, that organism within your animal. So another one uh, is uh, penicillin. And here in Tanzania, we have Penstrip as the main, uh, the main uh, brand that is available. Uh, and this contains uh, uh, procaine penicillin G. Um, so that's the active ingredient. And this is also very powerful in, in, in fighting in, in, in infections, uh, whether it is arthritis, mastitis, gastrointestinal, some bit of uh, respiratory and even urinary tract um, the infections so it's also very very important to have uh, within your farm 
uh, your animal gets a wound and you need to make sure you, you protect after you've taken care of the actual wound you can inject this as well to make sure that your animal stays uh, healthy and uh, it's not infected by other uh, opportunistic yeah, infections so that's the first group of medications that you need to have at your, at your farm antibiotics and those are the medicines that i find very important to have at the farm now you know problems of like diarrhea at the farm uh, coccidia uh, the likes of salmonella and, and, and sort of kind of things that are going to cause your animal to 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 to, to have diarrhea and then that can actually lead to, to death of the animal to avoid that, you need some sulfur medication. And here in, in Tanzania, we have Intertrim. Intertrim contains sulfur methoxazole. Uh, that's, the, that's the active ingredient in this one here. Uh, but also we have uh, Norodine 24, Norodine 24 injection. Uh, this contains uh, sulfadazine. Uh, as the active ingredient uh, and then there's also fatrim fatrim this one here uh, fatrim contains uh, like uh, intertrim it contains uh, sulfur methox methoxazole uh, as the active ingredient so these sulfur medication will help you to handle uh, the problems related to coccidia or coccidiosis um, any kind of diarrhea within your animal uh, will be treated mainly with with, with sulfur sulfur medication, and then we have um, anti-inflammatory medication. Now, <clears throat> I don't have here uh, the the bottle, but dexamethasone is one of those uh, one of those medication that you also need to have at your farm one it will help to reduce the pain in your animal if the, the animal has got uh, an injury or something like that it's got a swelling uh, it's got a problem with its joint it, it's something on the skin you know that sort of like oh, those sort of problems that then dexamethasone sorry is, is going to be able to help you to help you in that regard so it's also very important to have this at your at your farm. Another group of medication that I think is very very important to have at your farm is antiparasitic. These uh, sometimes are called antihelmentics are very important. Helmentics are essentially parasites. So antihelmentics, anything that fights parasites. So you have two categories here: a category that handles intestinal uh, worms. Or internal worms and one that handles external 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 worms internal worms could be worms in the liver worms in the lungs worms in the uh, in the intestines and then external it could be uh, ticks it could be lice it could be mites it could be fleas so uh, those we also need to make sure that we manage them now for handling internal internal worms I usually use Ivermectin and here in Tanzania we have Intermectin as the brand uh, that is uh, that is commonly available it's 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 an injectable solution uh, but also you have we have Promectin which is another brand but the active ingredient is still the same Ivermectin uh, 1% so this you would use for controlling internal parasite that is worms and then we also have albenda albendazole uh, here albendazole is is another type of uh, dewema that is, is 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 useful also in taking care of internal internal parasite we also have levamisol but unfortunately i don't have the the bottle here with me but it's also one of those that uh, will be useful in handling internal internal parasites for external parasite things like ticks you will need to have uh, something like paranex or uh, cyper cypertops between these two i find paranex to be much more stronger in handling ticks but in, when it comes to fleas, lice, and mites, I find Cypertop to be much more useful 
for me in my situation in my farm. I usually recommend for you to have uh, both of them so that if one is not giving you the results that you want, then you switch to, to the other to make sure that you control your ticks in your animal. Another medication that you will need at your farm are uh, vitamins. Sometimes due to the feed type or nutrition at your farm, you, your animal might need to have a boost of vitamins. An animal, for example, a goat that is just from kidding might need an injection of vitamin to boost its, 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 its immunity system. Uh, but also an animal, a goat that is pregnant, for example, or an animal that has just come from, from being sick, being treated, is in the healing process, then you can also help it uh, by boosting its immunity through multivitamin. Here in Tanzania, we have Introvit injectable that is readily available, uh, and also multivitamin injection by Nobook. It's also available in the country. All these are injectable, injectable solutions. Um, another group of medicines that I find important, I don't know if I call them medicines, but these are antiseptics. These are very, very key for you to have at your farm. So I will start with iodine solution or providon iodine. Very important. I use this a lot. On, on, on wounds for the animals when a goat is giving birth and the kid is born with the umbilical cord after you cut it uh, make sure you dip it into iodine solution to uh, protect it from infections uh, so this is very very useful on wounds uh, on sores sores around the the, the, the mouth the ears etc then this is very useful in, in helping control that. So you could have weak iodine solution or providon iodine in, the, in that regard. Um, in order to clean the wounds, sometimes I use methylated spirit, but I usually don't like it that much. I use methylated spirit uh, a lot on injection site, where there's just a small injection hole, then that's when I can use this to make sure first I disinfect that area and then I inject the animal. After I inject, I also, again, disinfect that, that, that area just to make sure that I don't welcome a bacteria into that injection site. But I don't like it a lot on wounds because it causes the wound healing process to take longer, even though it, it keeps bacteria away, but the wounding process, uh, the healing process takes, takes longer. I sometimes also use hydrogen peroxide or potassium permanganate to clean to clean the, the the wounds so these are also very important to have them to have them at your at your farm i also recommend you to have alamycin alamycin is a wound spray this is very very important i would also recommend though i don't have here with me eye wound powder that you can use when your animal has got like pink eye or any uh, issue with the with with the eye it's got a wound or uh, inflammation on the eye then you can be able to use to use to use that also a mastitis tube if you have dairy guts uh, that would be very very key to to have but all this cannot go alone without being accompanied by by some other working tool that you will need so you will definitely need this fellow here a syringe as you've seen most of them are injectables you will definitely need cotton cotton wool very very important you will need gloves um, and any other tools that will help you to make sure that you have a uh, good environment for treating your animal as i mentioned from the beginning of the video i am not asking you to become a vet for your farm I'm only saying you need this medicine to have at your farm so that when the vet comes to treat your animal, they find the medicines there available and therefore you uh, avoid their high costs. So this will help you save costs. Uh, again, if you are a vet, then you will definitely know what you need to have at the farm. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today. 
if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notification whenever we upload new videos thank you so much